debate is one week from tonight, which is why Full Frontal is moving to Wednesday next week and possibly to New Zealand the week after that. <laughs> now, you may think a nerdlinger lawyer with decades of government experience should have no trouble beating a melting hunk of uninformed apricot jello hoisted on stage by 4chan. Well, not so fast, because Trump has a secret weapon, bloated hate haggis Roger Ailes. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes to work with Donald Trump. I mean, oh. he sort of created Donald Trump inadvertently. It may be a marriage we might, we might see. Well, since it's Donald Trump we're talking about, a marriage is pretty likely. <laughs> now that Fox News' chief executive in charge of whipping it out is no longer ruining your dad for a living, he can devote all his time to prepping Trump for the debate. And if that doesn't scare the hell out of you, it should. Roger Ailes, now 76, has been an influential figure for decades in Republican politics as an advisor and strategist to Presidents Nixon, Reagan, and George H.W. Bush. That's right. Roger Ailes has been polishing turds into presidents since this was a cool thing to say. Suck it to me. <laughs> Nixon's media advisor in 68, Ailes persuaded his famously untelegenic candidate to do more than scowl at the camera and call it a Jew. He had TV studios blast the air conditioning before Nixon's appearances, making the audience slightly less likely to look at him and think, hmm, that sweaty schmuck looks like someone who's going to order a burglary in four years. But Ailes's masterstroke was to bypass the press entirely by pioneering the town hall format we still know and tolerate. Tonight from Atlanta, live and in color, the Nixon answer. Well, not too much color. The handpicked <laughs> panel could include one Negro, but not two. Don't be greedy. At these meticulously stage-managed fake news events, the only people less welcome than multiple Negroes were Nixon's sworn enemies, reporters. Fuck them, Ail said. It's not a press conference, it's a television show our television show, which would have made a great motto for his later endeavor <laughs> if it had only fit. Now, I have to admit, Ailes has done good works, like that time he kindly helped an elderly man on the verge of Alzheimer's win a presidential debate in a second term as president. After a disastrous first debate against Jimmy Carter's prize-winning peanut, Walter Mondale, Reagan enlisted Ailes, who helped craft a genius line to deflect the troublesome age issue. You already are the oldest president in history. I will not make age an issue of this campaign. I am not going to exploit for political purposes, my opponent's youth and inexperience. <laughs> Solid burn. Now answer the question, please. That's what the moderator said, right? Mr. President, I'd like to head for the fence and try to catch that one before it goes over, but, but I'll go on to another question. No! Stop letting candidates off the hook because they get a laugh. Four years later, as media advisor to Bush Sr., Ailes rigged an interview on Iran-Contra by insisting it be conducted live so he could sit off camera prompting his candidate with cue cards containing zingers like this. It's not fair to judge my whole career by a rehash on Iran. How would you like it if I judge your career by those seven minutes when you walked off the set in New York? Well, now, would you like that? I'm asking for a friend, because if you would like that, he could arrange it in about 16 years. <laughs> if Ailes could work his Machiavellian magic to elect a racist sweat monster, a guy born in 1911, and Jeb Bush's dad, don't think he can't do the same for a bigoted CNSA whose most extensive debate prep to date has been measuring his own dick. He referred to my hands. If they're small, something else must be small. I guarantee you there's no problem. I guarantee you. Oh, God, you guys are made for each other. So at next Monday's debate, do pay attention to the manatee behind the curtain. I promise, he's already written the killer line that will take Hillary Clinton down if Trump remembers to say it. We'll be right back.